guys, welcome back to Eliza's World. My name's Leanne and I've got another little haul for you, so let's go. And of course the dog walks in because it wouldn't be one of our, our uh, videos if the dog didn't just walk in. Hey guys, welcome back to Eliza's World. My name's Leanne, Eliza's got a a tummy bug at the moment she's been very very poorly so she's in bed sleeping bless her so I'm going to show you what I've been picking up from the stores recently I wasn't very well myself when I went shopping so I only managed to go to a few stores but I still picked up a few bargains so let's have a look what I bought and number one on my list if you are a regular to the channel or a subscriber thank you very much and hi um, I love my reefs I love reefs on the door. I think it looks so pretty and welcoming and I have them all the way through the year. And Poundland for two pound actually was selling this reef storage bag and I'm hoping that the footage right now will show you what this is this looks like open. Um, but you can kind of see this on this picture here. It was two pounds. Um, which I didn't mind because this is something that it will get really used. It's a lot better than keeping them in bin bags like I currently do. Um, and because of the size and the different reefs that I have, I'm thinking I'll be able to nest them as well, which is a bonus. So I'm really, really happy about that one. I'm really pleased with the size of this reef holder. Really pleased. And it's got plenty of expansion room and it is really 65 centimeters with a, I think it's a 12 centimeter depth so I'm very pleased for this large Snickers selection pack now on the receipt it said it was one pound but on the shelf it said it was 150 um, and inside there are three Snickers, a Mars, Milky Way, Twix and Malteser. Um, so I thought that was a really good bargain because obviously we've got more than the four small bars that you would get in a standard multi-pack of chocolate. So I always look out for chocolate this time of year. I love chocolate. Okay, so moving on, um, where else did I go? Okay. Poundland also was selling all of their tubes of sweets um, for 50 pence. I all the tubes, um, however, they only had Smarties left in our Poundland. If they'd have had the fruit pastel ones, I may have bought a few more. <laughs> then, what else did we buy from Poundland? Um, okay, so I saw these wooden advent numbers. I really loved these when I saw them, but I thought for a pound, I couldn't really think of anything that I was going to use them for, and I didn't want to kind of buy something just in case for a pound. However, these were reduced to 25 pence, which I was really, really happy about. Um, they're just standard wooden numbers. Some of them have got hearts on and stars, so you could potentially, if you've got birthday cards or things that you want to make, um, you could use these for that, I suppose. Um, but I am going to keep these away for Christmas, uh, for next Christmas. Christmas 2020. There's another little treat for Eliza that she hasn't seen yet because she's poorly. These were just 25 pence, these tins. Uh, this one is just the Alarmazing. Um, and inside there are fruit drops, orange, lemon, apple and strawberry flavoured hard boiled sweets. I know she will love the tin and she'll be able to keep little accessories, dolls accessories and things in there um, after she's eaten the sweets. So I thought that was a really nice little find for 25p and Eliza absolutely adores llamas. They're her favourite animal, especially when she sees one in four times. <laughs> Okay, then I went to Heron. Um, now, I love Heron. Heron has so many great deals. Um, and I don't really show you everything that I buy from Heron. One of the days I might do a Heron haul specifically because the money you can save in Heron, I can't even begin to explain to you um yeah heron if you have one in your town you may overlook it but i would seriously suggest walking in and they're 
bread, the Robert's bread is delivered every day and it is so fresh. So Heron is one of my favourite shops. You, you hear me talk about Poundland a lot, but Heron is one of my all-time favourite um, stores to do food shopping in. So that in mind, I found is Dairy Milk Raspberry Shortcake and simply the Zest. I've seen these around a lot. They're only 110 grams. I've seen these in Poundland um, a, for a pound. Um, I've seen these in Home Bargains, um, also for a pound, and for 110 grams, uh, even for a pound, I think that's a bit excessive, um, but in inherent, they actually had these for 79 pence each, so I was really pleased, we haven't tried them yet because I'm waiting for Eliza to feel a little bit better, but they sound amazing there's simply the zest orange flavored chocolate with almond and caramel piece, pieces and digestive biscuits and the raspberry shortcake is milk chocolate studded raspberry pieces with crisp pearls and shortcake and they sound delicious you know we're Cadbury's fans on this channel um, um, so then I went to Home Bargains and um, I had to buy just boring stuff from Home Bargains. I had to get some loo roll, and I had to get tissues, and I had to get some washing tablets. So it was a pretty boring shop I normally get from Home Bargains, to be fair. Um, and lo and behold, it was like um, I was led to it to new Wickford and Co. candle scents. <laughs> I actually bought four in total. Again, these, if you was to put these together for a little Mother's Day gift, they would look so cute. You could just wrap those in ribbon or put them in a little container um, and then put like a flower in them. It, 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 you could make that look so cute. And I did love that um, one of my sisters actually made me a little cam candle hamper for Christmas. It was, that was really cute. It really touched me, that present did. Um, so these two candles, there's rose and amber, and this one is very rose scented. Mm, and the amber, I don't normally like that scent in candles, however, it takes away the sweetness of the rose, so it wouldn't be so overpowering. And it gives it a nice kind of lower note, but very, very nice the rose one is. Um, and then we have the floral bouquet, which is a very fresh, very fresh smell, not overpowering of flowers, but just, you know, like when you use a fabric conditioner that's got a floral scent, that you've got, it's that kind of scent. Fresh, but not too flowery. So they're both beautiful looking candles. I did see that they had a couple of other scents, but I love these jars because as you can see from other craft videos that I'll link in, even though they may be Christmassy themed, there's a lot of things you can do with these jars once they're empty. Um, so I'm really pleased with those. And I bought four of these, four I believe 69 pence are they? But yeah, I really recommend these, they're really lovely. And then the last thing that I bought today were, oh, this was the other fra fragrance. Now, I am a Yankee Candle addict. I never buy the big candles because I think they're very overpriced and I would probably get bored of the smell after a while and it would end up getting dusty and it would be a whole thing. But anyway, um, I love the Yankee Candle air fresheners and I normally buy uh, car air fresheners and I normally buy the lavender and lemon scented one which is my favourite Yankee smell. Um, however I think for four of those, three or four of those, I can't remember off the top of my head, it's nearly five pounds um, and I happen to notice in um, Home Bargains that they sell their own version of the Yankee Candle fragrance uh, this one is Cherry Blossom and Jasmine. Jasmine is one of my favourite scents in flowers. Um, there's two of these for 69 pence, I think they were, which meant that even if you used to buy 
for like in the pack from Yankee, it would still be a lot, lot cheaper. Um, I haven't tried them yet. I was uh, waiting to show you guys because normally if I buy something like this for the car, I open it when I get out of the shop and go to the car, if that makes sense, and put it in straight away. Um, so I've deliberately kept this to show you guys. Aren't you lucky? Uh, but it says it's up to 30 days for freshness um, and you just flip up the top and insert it into the vent um, and I always find these smell very very nice so I can't wait to try the Whitford and um, Co version. So there we go, there was a few of our items, um, let me know what you thought, I know it was only a little bit, I'm intending to do a few large hauls towards the end of this month, um, at the moment you're only going to see one video a week from Eliza's World, so that will just be our normal Friday video, um, that's just because we've had a bit of illness going on, we've got a Bit, a few changes to the channel going on and there's a few other things happening in our real lives um, so hopefully in a few months that will all kind of get back to normal again but for now we'll see you again next week so don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below with all that lovely good stuff and take care bye